What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to draw and color Sissy Blissy from Poppy Playtime. For today's lesson, we'll be drawing with this black Sharpie marker. Let's start at the very top of our page with the top edge of the lips. Starting over on the left side, start with the curve going up. And I'll bring that down. And I'll just round out the ends and pull that up. Now from here, it's gonna work our way out towards the corners of the mouth with a curve. Just round out the mouth and pull that back in. Now I'm gonna bend this down towards the bottom of the mouth. Coming in and then down. And it'll connect the ends with a curve, coming down the middle and across and pull that back up on the right side. Let's trace the top edge of the mouth along the inside. Starting up here, start with the curve coming in and then down. Round up the bottom, go up in the middle, go across and up towards the right. Now I'm gonna trace out the lower lip. Starting up here, coming in and then down. Trace the bottom coming around and then back up. Now we're going to layer the teeth along the inside. Starting from the very top in the middle, angle this down and out toward the left and right side. Go up towards the top. Let's come back down and out. And then pull that straight up underneath the lips and it'll fill in the outside corners of the mouth. Now from here we're going to place the eyes on top of the lips. Let's start on the left side. Start with a circle going all the way around and then back down. And it'll draw a slightly larger circle over on the right side. Going all the way around toward the top, come down and then back in. Let's add those swirls inside the eye. Start from the very top. Let's go all the way around. Pull it back in towards the middle. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Now I'm gonna add some lashes along the outside. Start from the top left, bend this out and up. Taper that back in towards the eye. Let's add another point. Going out and then pulling that in, and we'll fill the inside of the lashes. Let's add two on the right side. Going out and up, pulling that back in. Let's add a slightly larger one on the end, and we'll fill in the inside. Now from here we're going to move up to the top and draw the top edge of the head. Starting over on the left side, bend this down in the middle, and then pull that up towards the right side. Let's add a point along the top with a curve coming in. We'll bend that back out and up. Now you want to round out the side of the head and pull it in towards the side of the lip. And start back on the left, going out down and just tuck that in. Let's add those stitch lines in the center of the forehead. From the top we'll step down, bend this out towards the right, come down in between the eyes and draw two lines going across. Now I'm going to switch to a finer marker and add those spots across the top of the head. Let's start on top of the left eye, draw a half circle going all the way around. Add a full circle along the top, and then we'll add a half circle on top of the right eye. Now that we complete the head, let's move down and draw on the side of the body. We we'll start over on the left side, just underneath the lip, curve the body going out, come down towards the bottom, and just bend that in. Let's line this up on the right, going out, come down, and bend that in. Let's move in between the hips, step down and add a curve, going up 
and then down in between the legs. Now leaving a gap in the center, let's go to the left side, bend the leg going out, and then down. Let's round up the inside leg coming back in. And we'll add a fold along the bottom, bending this back out towards the ankle. Let's place the feet along the bottom. From the inside of that curve, and bend the heel coming in and then down towards the bottom. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the left heel, curve the foot coming down, and then up towards the toes. Let's connect the outside of the foot to the heel with a curve. We go up towards the top, and bend that all the way down. And then we'll separate the toes with two curves. Start from the outside, then it's up and in. And now we're gonna go back up to the hips and draw the outside of the leg. From the left hip, let's step out. Just gonna bend the leg going out. Come all the way down towards the bottom and just hook that in around the ankle. Let's close off the bottom. From the side of this curve, then it's out and then down on top of the feet. Let's go back to the center of the body and add those stitches. Then it's out towards the right and then down. And then add two lines going across. Now from here we're going to move out to the side and draw on the arms. From the top of the body, let's step up underneath the lip, bend the arm coming down and then out towards the elbows. Let's overlap the forearm on top. From this point, step down, bend this up, go out towards the side. I'm gonna go back to the left side. I'm just gonna round this out, pull that in. Add another curve going out, and then in. Add one smaller one along the bottom. Let's bend the arm coming down towards the elbow. Coming in and then down. And we'll round out the elbow, come in and up in behind the body. Let's add a finger along the end of these curves. Starting from the top, bend it up and then down. Round out the finger, just follow that curve coming back. In. Let's add the second set of fingers, going out and then down, rounding it out and putting that back in. And we'll add one more finger along the bottom, and down and in. Now we're gonna add the thumbs along the inside. Starting from the forearm, curve up and down, add another curve. And then we'll layer the thumb in behind. Starting from the top of this curve, bend this up and out, round up the thumb, and pull that back in. And now we're going to grab some markers and I'll show you how to color this in. Let's start with a bright pink and fill in the lips. And then with a light blue, we'll fill those spots on top of the head. And then we'll use our yellow to fill in each of the fingers. And now with this light purple, we'll fill in the rest of the body and the head.
And once we completed our coloring, I'll be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw and color Sissy Blissy. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.